Harry gets into trouble. Sussex feels the deadlock by media coverage of his legal moves. Prince Harry's lawyers have claimed the Duke of Sussex suffered substantial hurt, embarrassment and distress caused by media coverage of his legal moves. The Duke is suing the Mail on Sunday over what he deems as a defamatory exclusive which described how Harry tried to keep his legal fight over bodyguards secret then claimed minutes after the Mail on Sunday broke the story his PR machine tried to put positive spin on the dispute. The Royals lawyers said the story and adverse and hostile comments by readers were self-evidently exceptionally serious and damaging and constitute an attack on his honesty and integrity which undermines his fitness to be involved both in charitable and philanthropic work. He is seeking damages of libel, an injunction preventing the paper from re-publishing defamatory statements, and publication of the High Court's judgment. The Duke has reportedly suffered serious damage to his reputation and substantial hurt, embarrassment and distress which is continuing, they say, in a high court case seeking aggravated damages for the Duke. The Mail of Sunday article is said to have inspired a feeding frenzy of hostile comments aimed at the Duke, his lawyers claim. The newspaper first revealed Harry was seeking judicial review of the Home Office after the decision was made not to provide police protection for him and his family when visiting the UK. Shortly after the article was published on January 16, the Duke's team sent out a statement confirming the Duke was seeking judicial review. The statement noted, the Duke first offered to pay personally for UK police protection for himself and his family in January of 2020 at Sandringham. However, during the case's first hearing, lawyers for the government allegedly said the offer of payment was notably not advanced to Revec, the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, when the Duke visited the UK in June 2021 or in any of the immediate correspondence which followed. But Harry's lawyers claim the comments by the government's lawyers were no rebuttal at all to the claimant's public statement, let alone a crushing one. They say it only refers to his dealings with Revec but not offers of payment for protection made to other outside parties. The Duke's lawyers said he has been upset, but sadly unsurprised, by the defendant's distortion and misrepresentation of the facts in breach of the most basic journalistic standards and ethics. Rince Harry's lawyers say a tabloid published numerous gratuitous photographs of him, Meghan and their children on a story that also libeled him, a court filing shows. The Duke of Sussex is suing the Mail on Sunday for damages at the High Court in London over a February exclusive about his dispute with the UK government over the removal of his police protection. A court filing by his lawyers not only accused the newspaper of distortion and misrepresentation of the facts, but also commented on the number of pictures in the online version of the article, published by Mail Online. The document, seen by Newsweek, reads, the online article was published by the defendant, the Mail, as an exclusive and given huge prominence as the lead story on its home page. Further, it included numerous gratuitous photographs of Prince Harry and his wife and family. The online article contained four images, including three of Meghan and Harry from their days as working royals and one of them with children Archie and Lilibet Mountbatten Windsor taken from their 2022 Christmas card, when accessed by Newsweek on March 22. It is not retrospectively clear what pictures were used on the home page to accompany the headline and summary of the story. Harry's court filings say the Mail on Sunday's coverage suggested he lied in his initial public statements to the effect that he had always been willing to pay for police protection in the UK.